Hey guys, it's Bull here, and welcome back to another Xandra Reactions, where I take a look at Reveal Reviewers Monsters Art Challenge. Uh, so for the month of October, he asked us to draw his characters into monsters, and so we're going to see the results uh, before we do that. I just want to say, guys, that the next review of uh, Xandra Reviews is going to be coming up this month. The problem is that I just need to draw up a thumbnail, and that's all going to be coming up next week on Monday at 9 a.m., so look forward to it. So, without further ado, let us take a look at the art challenge. Let's see what you awesome people have drawn. Hey, everybody. At the beginning of September, I issued a monster fan art challenge. Here are the results. Most of you guys had a lot of fun with Mr. It on this one. First up, Robert Wilson sends in this piece of It as Gossamer from Looney Tunes, <laughs> or as I like to call it, Mr. It if he was buff. Next up, Retro Style sends in this piece of It as a zombie lawyer. The monster part, of course, being the lawyer. Next up, Ty sends in this piece of Mr. It as... I have no idea what this thing is, but it's freaky as hell. Yeah! Next up, Black Fog sends in this piece of Mr. It as a beholder. And now I want to see him on the cover of a D&D &D manual called Mr. It's Guide to Everything. <laughs> Next up, Lady Solana sends in this piece of it as something called an SCP-3008-1. Which, from what I'm told, sounds like a concept I should look into. Regardless, I wouldn't want to be in the dark with this thing. No, you don't. And rounding out the Mr. It monsters, Xandru sends in this piece of it as King Kong. Does he have to fight the Godzilla reviewer from the Movie Night Art Challenge? Next up, Midnight Chan sends in this piece of Mistis in the world of Monsters, Inc., taking inspiration from Celia. I particularly like the snake hair here. Technically continuing on the Mistis train, Tox sends in this piece of Medora as the Slipmouth Woman. And to take my mind off of how scared I am of this, I'm just gonna ask, do you want to know how I got these scars? Uh... Next up, Keyblade Mistress sends in this almost ship art looking piece of her character, Victoria Dracul, having turned Reviewer into a vampire. And let me tell you, being a vampire is a pain in the neck. Uh... And last but not least, in opposition to the vampires, Sony Bean sends in this piece of Future Keybearer as a werewolf. And... Is he being sexy? Huh. And now for this month's challenge. Disney World's 50th anniversary just kicked off, so draw any members of the Review Reviewer cast having fun at Disney World. Submit your entries by tagging me on Twitter or DeviantArt by the end of October 2021. Big thanks to everyone who submitted to this challenge, and I hope you guys have fun with the next one. Yeah, this was a fun one. I didn't see, I don't think I saw Darius in this one. I don't know if he made a submission or not, or it didn't make it. That kind of sucks. Uh, I don't know if there were, it's kind of been a while, so if I forget some of your names, I apologize. I just got up, so here we go. All right, so Robert Wilson, nicely done. I love that this is a Looney Tunes reference. That actually kind of works because that's like something I would never thought about. Kudos on you, Robert. This was really good. Yeah, a lot of people had a lot of fun with this. I mean, Mr. Ed a zombie, uh, nicely done retro styles. I, I do like this. Although I think the decay could have been a little nicer, but the dirt does that. It, honestly, it kind of makes it look like Mr. Ed just got like run over by a car and he's like, meh, I'm okay. But it's not too gory for YouTube, so I can see why this is a zombie. So still, it still looks good, Retro. Yeah, I don't know what on God's green earth this thing is. It looks like a furry worm monster mold thing. I honestly don't know what this is. Uh, okay, the uh, the artist's name is Ty. Ty, you did a good job. This was... This is just straight up freaky. Kudos, man. This is really good. I think what makes this really scary is the smile. Just look at that smile. It's so creepy. Ugh. Man, Black Fog, you did such a good job with this. I, Mr. It as a Beholder, that's actually a really good one. This is this really expands out the whole monster thing. My brain always focused on, like, Halloween stuff. I never thought about other monsters. And Black Fog, you really, like, did a good job thinking outside the box for this one. Really good kudos on this. This is, this is well done creepy. <laughs> Lady Solana, once again, you bring in your A-game by... Throwing in a reference that I don't know much about. I'm sorry to say I don't know much about C uh, C uh, SCP as much as Reviewer does. Um, all I know is that, like, there are, like, fan-made experiments where, like, you can actually play a game and be terrified of. I think Markiplier did, like, a Let's Play of it one time, but, like, I never really got interested in it, sad to say. It still looks good, but the art looks good. The concept is great. I just sadly don't much about I sadly don't know much about it. But still I love that you were able to do this and this is really nicely done. Way to go, Lady Solana. I
this is really good. I gotta say, this was a really fun one. I was gonna do something a little more complicated, but I'm like, nah, instead of just like cramming in a lot of stuff, let's do something one at a time. And reviewer, expect the next art challenge uh, involving uh, Reaper Reviewer and It Kong. That's all I can say. I love what Midnight did here. The whole... Oh, this is so good. I love it. The inspiration from Monsters, Inc. Once again, thinking outside the box. Way to go, Midnight. Uh, I will say that, like, we were doing a live stream with her. And, like, we were trying to help her out. Try to... With the art style and stuff like that. I suggested scales. But you know what? This still looks just as good. She, uh, she wants to, like, work on that kind of stuff in the future. Like, do textures and stuff. But still, as it is, it looks really good. Way to go, Midnight. This was... This was definitely really well done. Ah, the return of Medora as a Slipmouth Woman. Freaking yikes, what the heck? I love this art style. The This is like, I want to say like the third time she's done this. I'm going to have to go back on that one, uh, on that track record. I'm going to say either second or third time she's done this. With like uh, the background with, uh, with a dark red uh, gradient with like, I want to say red lightning or red cracks. And, like, having the silhouette being a combination of white, gray, and red just really makes the scene pop out. It just... It's really well done, Tox. This was... This is nicely done, spooky, scary, and it sends a shiver down my spine. This is really good. I, li I like this. This is friggin' adorable with the uh, reviewer as a vampire with her uh, vampire OC. This is really nicely done, and... I gotta say, this is honestly cute. All I can say is, as though this might be an unintentional shipping, I can say this might be a better romance than Twilight. Oh, snap! I'll stop now. Sony Bean, once again, bringing in her A-game. And at first, I thought this was Reviewer, but now that I'm seeing it, yeah, and after re-listening to it, that's future Key Bear as a werewolf. I kind of find, you know what, I kind of find this uh, funnily ironic that, like, future Key Bear is, like, a werewolf, uh, technically a dog, whereas, like, Reviewer always seems to end up as a cat. The line now has to be this from Ghostbusters. Human sacrifice, future key bears, and reviewers living together. Mass hysteria! So, yeah, guys, that was my reaction for the Review Reviewer Monsters uh, Fan Art Challenge. And I gotta say, for the people who did the art for this one, this was a really fun one. I love the Mr. It was the main focus of the fan art, and kind of hard not to. He's kind of like a hairy ball of uh, Play-Doh that you can form into almost anything. Weird thing to say, but you know what I mean. I am sad that a couple of people didn't make it for the fan art challenge. The two I'm thinking about right now is Darius and Jacerum. I'm sure Jacerum uh, still has like other things to do and stuff. I feel like Darius did have an art submission, but like, I don't know, like maybe it got lost in translation or something, or maybe it didn't make the cut. I honestly don't know. I am a little sad, but hey, this coming month, we're doing like the reviewer cast just having fun at Disneyland. I'm gonna have to re-watch the, um, here's inspiration for you guys. What? Rewatch the old live stream of reviewer going through the Disneyland park. That, I hope, would probably inspire you guys to go with something. So, I, I hope that helps. But with all that said and done, guys, thank you so much for watching. May God continue to bless you, and just have a good day.